honest, the weather today is uh, obedient. Yes, the weather is superb. Uh, Nico Memorial Park, a uh, veteran park in uh, a city called Milton. And I live a few minutes from here uh, in a city called Five. So, uh, at the park, as you can see, there the are young men enjoying themselves. And, uh, they are playing, uh, I think it's basketball. Yeah, it's basketball. There is uh, tennis and everything. Uh, so the reason why I'm doing this video, uh, I know the DV lottery came out. Uh, was it on Saturday? Yeah, if I'm not from a few weeks from last week. I think it's a week on the 60th. My memory is serving me right, and uh, I know people are over the moon. Uh, I know thousands won, and the millions. Who did not win. But that's not the end. October is around the corner. We are in May, so we have uh, June, July, August, September, October. Only around 150 days uh, for the process to start again. So don't lose more. Um, Kenya this time around was lucky. I think uh, it was 5,000 plus this year. Last year it was uh, 3,000. So I think it went up. Uh, I remember when. Uh, the application began, I think it was in October last year. A uh, popular um, YouTuber and uh, radio host, but now is a, a member of parliament for Langata, you all know who I'm talking about, Heavy J, Jalas Munyewe, said that uh, 30 million, 30 million Kenyans uh, did apply for the green card, which shows how uh, optimistic people are in Kenya. To travel abroad for greener pastures for the American dream. It's a nice place to come. I, I, I usually count myself lucky that I'm in this country where I can enjoy all these aman amenities uh, which are free, all these lands. Uh, I mean, the government here and uh, they are taking care of these parks. We usually pay for the taxes uh, for, for taking care of parks and everything when we go to the gas station, put some gas. Uh, you buy anything at the local shop, there's always that bracket of tax which 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 usually goes to to, uh, to these parks. But all all in all, I, I will, I'm here basically to talk about the green card. Um, congratulations to those who are selected. I know people say Nilishinda green card, but to be honest, is you were selected. Uh, the computer was lucky. To, to pick your application. You, you, you are chosen among you. Everybody who did an application was uh, basically uh, qualified in their own rights. But you were just lucky among other equals. So what do you do next? First things first. When you check and you see that uh, congratulations on top of your application and uh, you know Mamboyako in Menda Vizuri Next thing you, you check your case, case number. This will tell you the dates, or it will give you a rough idea of, of when you, you can go for the embassy. But uh, you need to, to understand the process has just begun. Even though you have been selected, it's not 100% guaranteed that you will get a date, or you will um, come to the US. I know people who, who were selected and um, they were lucky and they were grateful. They did everything that they could. They went for the medical, uh, they spent all the money required, the application, because it's a, an expensive, it's a very expensive uh, affair. If you have listened to other YouTubers who have went, who have gone through uh, this process of uh, DV lottery, they will tell you how expensive it is. It's 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 an, an an expensive affair. You need money. First of all, prepare yourself with with, with finances. Financially, uh, you'll need money because you need um, to pay for the visa. You need to pay for the medical and other applications. A lot of things here and there that requires money. I know there was uh, a cap where it was saying you, you need a passport to to apply, but it was removed. 
so I know people who, who did the, the application without the passport. So basically you need to, to go and get the passport. So once you get that, and then now it will give you the, the case number. The case number will tell you uh, or it will give you a rough uh, idea of when you will go for your interview. Secondly, you need to file um, or fill in uh, the, the, the form for the embassy or the form that goes to Kentucky. This is the DS-260 form. The DS-60 form, once it comes back to Nairobi or whichever the, the, the consulate, I know now even here in America they are doing it. If you are here and you want it, I don't want to, uh, to talk about that. For those who are in Africa or any other part of the continent, the most important part is to, fi uh, to fill in the DS-260, send it to Kentucky as soon as possible, and then wait for the appointment. They usually begin in October. So after you have won, don't be hyped and think that now I've won a green card, I'll be traveling to America in a month or two. No, the process may take a year or so. So, so if, if, if you, 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 you get your dates or you start, uh, people start receiving their appointments in October and you won uh, your DV lottery in May, it simply means the process between October last year when you feel uh, you did the application, once you, uh, you, you filed the, 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 the application and it went through and you got the results, yes you have won, to October when you go to, you start getting the appointments, basically it's an, that's one year. One year is gone. Between application, uh, getting the results, and the start of interview. So from the start of interview, it may take another process. Uh, you may not be lucky to get the dates instant. You may wait until then. Uh, the next year, uh, probably for the March. And then if you're lucky, then you can travel in October the next year. So basically prepare yourself for at least two years since the time you did the application. So don't be hyped, but I will urge you guys, prepare yourself abundantly with money, because money is the most important thing. Um, I know people who, and uh, this is very important when you're doing your applications. Don't mess with your names. Uh, the name that you did uh, the application with should be your real name on your birth certificate or in your passport um, and ID because you need to verify your identification uh, either with birth certificate, ID and the passport and then your level of education if Ujamaliza uh, for you did the application if you, you if you didn't finish your high school and you did the application <coughs> uh, you, you look for a way of, of doing the exam between now and uh, December. Go register yourself, make sure you do the exam. If not so, if you that that's option number one. Number two, if you went to a, a vocational college or uh, a technical college uh, and, and you did a course equivalent a course of two years, you can you can you can submit those documents as your form of education, because they are a little bit um, tricky when it comes to education. But all in all, um, then you choose your, your host well, uh, the state where you want to go and live. Um, that's another thing which is very important. But first, of, first and foremost, uh, JAZA form DS-260, submit it to um, Kentucky. Uh, JAZA the other form for the interview, and then Wait and uh, voila, you see you in the other side of, of the world. It's a nice place, as you can see. Um, I'm outside and uh, it's, a, it's a nice and uh, warm evening. It's summertime. Uh, we are not yet summer. We are, we are in the middle of spring. We are almost at the end of spring. It's uh, 80 or 90 degrees outside and it's 8 p.m. And we are enjoying the weather. So basically I will tell you, come on machine. I know there are people who have won and they're like, ah, I don't think I'll, I'll go this year. This is a golden opportunity. Thousands and thousands of people are crying for that opportunity. Don't waste it. Don't let it go um, to waste. Grab it, take it, come to the US, live here. I, 
we'll do other videos of consequences of not coming or once one you, once you come and uh, you are not serious you, you are like I don't want to stay in this country you are in and out uh, you go back to Kenya for a year you are like uh, you know what I am a green card holder there are consequences of it so do what is necessary and congratulations to those who adios uh, my name is Makuto Chinyoroge and this is MGN Media see you later guys